Hi everyone, we're going to do some phonics today. So we're going to start by recapping on some sounds and our tricky words. So join in with these at home. A. Ow. I. E. Oi. U or U or O E I A O U or U E now for some tricky words. Don't, old, I'm, by, time, about, house, your, day, Came, made, make, hear, saw, very, put, oh, there. People, Mr. Mrs. Looked, called, asked, could. Brilliant job, well done. So now we're going to look at a letter that we've seen a lot of times before. Here it is. What's the name of this letter? That's right, it's the letter G. What sound does the letter G make? Tell your grown up. Hmm, it makes the G sound. So we're going to practice writing a word which starts with the letter G. I know we've done this lots of times before. So I'm going to write the word goat. So at the start, I've got that G sound, the letter G. Oh, there's a few different ways we can write this, remember? But in this word, it's with the O and the A digraph. And at the end of goat, I can hear the T sound. Excellent, let's do our sound buttons. G, O, Goat. Excellent. Now we are going to write another word beginning with G. Hmm. Gap. Gap. This should be nice and easy. G. A. P. Gap. Again, let's do our sound buttons. A. P. Gap. Easy peasy. I'm going to try one more, one more word that starts with the letter G. Oh, can you think of any? Oh, I've got one. So I've seen this word written down before in some books that I've read. G E M. Should we try sounding that out? G E M. Gen. Gen. That sounds like a nonsense word, doesn't it? It sounds like a silly alien word, gen. But I'm sure I've seen it written down. What does this say if it doesn't say gen? Ah, now I remember. 
this word, although it's spelt with the letter G at the start, doesn't have the G sound. It makes the J sound. Gem. Ah. So sometimes when we write the letter G, it doesn't make that G sound. It makes the J sound. But why and when? So when we have the letter G making the G sound, we call that the hard G. And when the letter G makes the J sound, we call that the soft G. So if there's a hard G and a soft G, all written with the same letter, how do we know which one to use? Well, there are some rules that we can follow, although unfortunately these rules are often broken anyway, but let's have a look at them. So the soft G often comes when it's next to the letters E, I or Y. Let's look at a few together now. So we'll start with E. We looked at a word earlier that followed this rule. So G, E, M, the letter G is next to the E, so it sounds, uh, it's the J sound. So gem, gem, okay. Now let's look at one next to the letter I. Hmm. Oh, I've thought of one. You'll often find these in fairy tales, like Jack and the Beanstalk. So remember, it's that soft G sound, the J. What's it say? Giant, well done, giant. And I also said it often goes next to the letter Y. I can think of a good one for this, something that you might do in PE. Gym, gymnastics. So they sound like they should be let, uh, written with the letter J, but they're actually written with that G, the soft G sound. You can also have the soft G at the end of a word. For example, huge, because I have that E on the end and it's next to the G, it's making the J sound, huge. Now, if that was just the rule and that was it, it would be quite simple for us to learn. But unfortunately, as I said, I can think of some words that break these rules. For example, I said that if you have the letter G next to the E, it makes the J sound. But what about this word? If it followed that rule, it would say J et jet. But what's it say? That's right, get, get. So in this case, we have the hard G at the start. So there's one example of this rule being broken. I also said that you often get the J sound next to the letter I, but again, this doesn't say girl, it says girl. So if the rules are broken, what do we do? So when we're reading and we come across the letter G and we're not sure if it makes the hard G or the soft J sound, we can sound it out and see which one sounds right, which one makes a real word rather than a nonsense word. So here I've got a sentence that we're going to read together. This is something you might have heard people saying a lot recently. Let's read it together then. I need some hand Hmm, here's that letter G and I'm not sure which sound it makes. So I'm going to try it with the hard G sound first. G, uh, oh, girl. I need some hand girl. Sounds a bit funny to me. Hmm, let's try it with that soft J sound instead. G, uh, oh, gel. Ah, I need some hand gel. So you see, by sounding it out, we can work out whether it makes the hard G or the soft G. We're going to practice this now. Here you have some words that are all written with the letter G. You need to decide whether they make the hard G sound, that's the G, or the soft G, the J sound. I would suggest writing these down as lists, so hard G and soft G, because that will help you with your writing later. Pause the video now and have a go at this. There'll be a few more to try in just a moment. Brilliant, so now we've got our hard G and our soft G lists. 
we're going to use those to help us to write a few sentences. So you can write whatever sentences you like, but the challenge is to try and get some of those hard and soft G words in there. Remember, use your list to help you with this. So I am going to try and include at least two. Let's have a think. Remember with our sentences, we always need that capital letter at the start. So this is one of our high frequency words that we looked at last week. I'm, I'm getting, getting. Now I can hear that, that hard g sound at the start with the letter G. I'm getting a pet. Dog. So there I've got that hard g sound at the end. And I'm not just getting a dog. Oh no. And a pet. Hmm, what word could I put here that's got that soft j sound? Giraffe? I'm not getting a pet giraffe. I wish I was, that would be cool. Uh, how about gerbil? That's on our list. So I can hear the j sound, but it's not written with the letter J. It's that soft G. I'm getting a pet dog and a pet gerbil. So there's my attempt. I've managed to get dog and gerbil from our list into my sentence and also getting with that hard G at the start and the end too. See if you can write your own sentences and see how many words from that list you can get in there. Well done for all your hard work and I'll see you soon. Bye.